Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Lee Hawksley, who is the Vice President of Twilio for APJ. So welcome to the jam, Lee. Great to be here, Nick. Thanks for having me. Very good to have you on. So um, this interview is designed mainly for people to get to know Twilio and what you offer. So to start off, could you give me a brief rundown of Twilio? Of course, yeah, it might be my pleasure. Um, so Twilio has been around since uh, 2008. Uh, started in San Francisco uh, by our current CEO, uh, a guy called Jeff Lawson, um, who is a developer himself, um, and thought there must be a better way to allow apps and developers to really connect to their customers in a better way using the global communications infrastructure. Um, so really Twilio has been a leader um, in democratizing the world's communication infrastructure. Um, things like voice, video, messaging, email, and so on and so forth, um, and making them available through APIs. So it's essentially putting all of that infrastructure available to anyone in a few clicks um, in the cloud. Um, and we've been doing that now for, um, what is it, 13, 14 years. So we've, we've grown uh, tremendously in that time. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to run our business over here in uh, Asia Pacific, based out of Sydney. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, well, so you mentioned APIs. That's kind of um, Twilio's bread and butter. So could you tell me specifically what are some key products and offerings that Twilio offers? Yeah, of course. Well, the, our, our, I guess our, our genesis, our history, if you like, was in text messaging. Um, so way back in the day, our first product was um, really allowing developers and enterprise customers uh, to connect their apps um, to our API infrastructure so that they could SMS their customers no matter where they were. So you, you imagine how difficult that was. I think it's hard for a lot of people to really wrap their head around these days, how hard that was 10 or 15 years ago um, to say, okay, I have this app and I want to do something really simple and straightforward. Like let's say for example, two-factor authentication, the type of message that you might get it from a financial institution. Um, that's, that was actually incredibly difficult um, back in the day uh, because you've got to connect to a whole bunch of infrastructure and then you've got to start to think about, you know, what countries do you want to connect to? What is the cost structure going to be? It's different cost to send an SMS, say, in the US to what it is in Australia versus Indonesia, for example. Um, Twilio basically flattens all that out, makes it super simple for developers and takes all of those headaches away so that they can concentrate fully on the customer experience rather than on infrastructure. Right, yeah, um, you just mentioned customer uh, experience. Um, so I was wondering if you could tell me how exactly does Twilio empower organizations to strengthen their customer relationships? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a great question. Um, I mean, a lot of it, of course, is developers taking our tools um, and building around those tools or using those tools um, so that they can bring to life whatever it is that they have conceived in terms of customer experience. But let me give you a, a couple of exam live examples, probably bring it to life a little bit more. We have, um, so I'll focus on two products that we, uh, that are very popular from Twilio, uh, the programmable messaging that I talked about a second ago, but we also have another product um, that has done it incredibly well over the last three years, um, a product called Flex. Um, which is a fully, essentially a fully programmable contact center solution in the cloud. Um, now, what that does is allows people to build customer experiences in any way they want, freed of the burden of a lot of the limitations that you might have from either a package solution or a typical cloud-based solution. Uh, because it's all API driven, it's totally open, as I say, fully programmable there really are no limitations to, to what a company or a group of developers might do in building out a contact center solution. So um, one example, um, you, might, you might think about um, say a contact center for, um, let's, say a, let's say an insurance company. Um, we've got lots of insurance companies where you know, a customer might only really ever contact them at two points of time. Either they need to make a claim or it's at the time of renewal. Two real moments that matter where the customer expects 
really high quality interactions and a frictionless customer experience. Um, you know, we've, we've worked with customers um, globally on making sure that that's an easy process to do. Um, and we're powering over half a million agents right now, um, making sure that the agents connect to their customers in their channel of choice and in a tone and a context that's appropriate. So that's just one example of, of where we might impact customer experience. The other one, which is a great story, um, we built out with a local partner called Fred IT. Um, I think we all know how painful it is um, when we're sick, we go to the doctor, we get a prescription, then we have to go to the chemist, we collect our drugs. Um, and it's kind of painful paper process, a paper driven process. Fred IT had this idea that in this modern age, that should not be the case. It should, you should be able to fulfill it all from your mobile phone. I don't think you can see that with my background, um, but that should all, it should be fully digitized um, and available on the phone. And Fred IT took our APIs, combined that with WhatsApp, um, connected it to their infrastructure that they deployed to thousands of pharmacists throughout Australia. And now having a prescription fulfilled is a seamless paperless process. Um, so that's again, a big leap from where we were maybe 18 months ago. Um, and really what's interesting about Fred IT um, is that they bought this capability to life in a matter of weeks in the midst of a global pandemic. Um, and that, that's what I find super exciting about that particular story. Mm, yeah, brilliant. Um, so looking towards the future now, changing tech a bit, what trends or innovations is Twilio focused on in the next few years? I think the big theme for us is, you know, lots of developers and lots of our enterprise customers are obviously using Twilio um, at that point of interaction. When you scratch away and look at that point of interaction, and, and we know this as consumers ourselves and as customers ourselves, um, what's vitally important in those comms is the, is the degree of personalization. And we've kind of been through the first wave where the email or the text message or whatever it was says, Dear Alex. Um, we've been through the second wave where the whoever is communicating with you is smart enough to understand your channel preference so they they either know that you prefer email or they know that you prefer a text um, or whatever it might be the third wave is really interesting for me because i think it brings into focus context of being able to leverage data in real time and signals in real time and also timing Timing is vitally important when it, when it comes to hyper-personalization and highly contextual messaging. Um, and that's something that we're very focused on. And one of the reasons that we acquired an amazing company called Segment um, almost a year ago. Um, and Segment is doing amazing things with huge volumes of first-party data for our customers, making sure that they have all of the signals to hyper-personalize their messaging in this third wave of personalization. And we, we think that's gonna be a mega trend for the next two to three years. And something that we're certainly seeing a lot of developer, a lot of CIO and a lot of CMO interest in. So we're, we're really excited by that trend. Awesome, yeah, sounds good. Um, so my last question for you today, Lee, is for those who are interested in what Twilio has to offer, what are the best uh, ways to get in touch? Well, everything that we have is available in the cloud, Alex. And the best way to connect with us is through our website, twilio.com. Um, I'm sure you can put up a link for us as well. Um, and all of our products are available to try. So any developer out there wants to get in there and get under the covers, um, a few clicks and you'll be up and running with Twilio. And we can't wait to see what you build. Brilliant, sounds good. Well, uh, yeah, that concludes today's interview. Thank you so much, Lee, for joining me today. Great to be here, Alex. Thanks for having me.